back students to one more session of your general organic chemistry right in the previous video what did we learn we have learned about the sip rule isn't it how are we going to uh, name or learning the nomenclature of rns system right so we have already seen the step one of sip rule now today in this video we'll be seeing step two and step three i'll also be teaching you uh, how to deal with different like means that if they give you a typical example and, and they've asked you to write the rns nomenclature that also i'll be do dealing but no not now i'll be just giving you step one step two and step three right so in step two important thing as we have seen let us recollect once again suppose if i have a molecule like this carbon according to the first rule i have one hydrogen here right the other end i have bromine here i have ch3 group here i have chloride now according to the first sip rule what should we how should we number we have to number according to their atomic number that is what is the thing if it is uh, isotopes i said we will go with the atomic weight now according to the atomic number first atomic number bromine is greater isn't it then chlorine is greater than carbon greater than your hydrogen so this is four this is three uh, okay let us write this first number of one this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so the maximum atomic number is named first done yes so uh, that, that's over now in step 2 let's see now what are we going to do we are going to take the same molecule and we are going to rotate the molecule so how do we rotate when i rotate the molecule how should i rotate as i say such that right the one which is marked 4 now this is 4 isn't it let us number this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so i'm going to rotate the molecule in such a way that the one which is ranked 4 means this particular thing is at the back okay it will be at the back I mean dash line it will be at the back means it will go in the other side in, in this way I will show that also so rotate the molecule in such a way that the uh, one the such a way that the uh, atom which is ranked which is ranked 4 e is or it is is in the back in the back right we will see that uh, slowly as when we understand right so in this is over so just you rotate and keep it now i'm taking i'll be taking you to the step 3 part so in step 3 part what is important understand here we have numbered it as 1, 2, 3 and 4, isn't it? Right. So with the fourth atom with hydrogen, we said fourth the uh, hydrogen atom at the back. Suppose if I am going to trace the path, how? If first option, if 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, right? They trace they trace a clockwise path right in this direction clockwise path then we assign the chiral center as r right then we assign chiral center as r remember this right let's see an example for this so how is example i'm taking the first one as i said i'm shifting it towards the other end right now let us take the same one right hydrogen is here bromine is here ch3 is here cl is here let us number this is the one then after that two this is three this is four suppose if the same thing if one two and three if they are taking a clockwise direction like this then what is the chiral center named as it is named as r system right suppose if the same as i have written the same molecule then if they rotate as i say clockwise then i call it as r center suppose if the same thing if one two three if they trace and counterclockwise okay that means anti-clockwise direction or we can also write it as if they take a counterclockwise path counterclockwise path then what do i name it as i name it as s system let us see that the same example here see now i'm rotating it h br ch3 cl 
number it this is one this is two this is three this is four right now let us number one two three if it rotates in direction then i call the system as s system okay r system in the clockwise direction s system in the anti clockwise direction so hope students you are able to understand what i'm trying to explain you now let us take one more example which will explain what happens when we have you know more than one chiral cell let us write that so step 1 is done step 2 is done step 3 is done now further if i take in this condition when a molecule containing more than one chiral center one chiral center then what should, how should you name then you know what, what do we do we are going to take the conformation of each center right each center configuration not this in the, the configuration of each center is determined i'll show you with an example configuration of each center is determined separately let us take an example and see this is also one way of naming the system determine separately so let us take two examples and see suppose if i have one example here yeah, i have coh here coh one is h one is oh here this is oh and this is h let us take the part b again coh one end coh in other end okay now oh in this end h here oh here h here that how should i name this first number it in, in i said they determine separately one this is the second center this is the third one this is the fourth again one this is the second two three and four now i have to name this it's going in which direction it's going in the clockwise direction isn't it right so the system has 2r and 3r suppose if i take this this is here see here they are gone what here 2r second r clockwise 3r clockwise in this case what happened this has taken the anti clockwise direction see here there is a shift of the molecule in this direction so this becomes where it is a shift it has shifted at 2s and this is again at 3r so this is how we are going to name or give the uh, or sip rule is in indicated using different examples step 1 step 2 and step 3 so uh, in the 9 o'clock slot i'll be showing you how to name Uh, or I'll give you a trick how to name if there are tricky questions given on RNS nomenclature. Right, thank you for watching, students. Right, so hope RNS nomenclature and DNA nomenclature is clear. I'll meet you now with on my next video the conformational isomerism. With that, all the types of isomerisms will be done. Then I'll be run, jumping into a topic that is nomenclature. I'll be picking up grade eleven as well as grade twelve nomenclature all together under one uh, platform. Thank you for watching.